continuing the tour with vex and uh oh, not vex strings so you know strings are similar to vex and that's uh that's why i said vex uh because they have a lot of the uh the same uh, methods and there's a you know there's actually a vec inside of a string so let's um let's look at uh, this capacity that it has because you can also make your strings uh you can work on their capacity so that you can uh, make them a little bit faster. Um, so let's start out with this uh, this new string. Uh, it's got nothing in it, and then we're going to have this uh, capacity counter, and it's going to uh, keep track of the uh, the capacity of this uh, of this string. And then uh, what we're going to do is uh, push uh, push a whole bunch of stuff into it, and then see what happens to the capacity. So. Uh, for nothing in uh, zero to uh, hundred thousand, so we'll do this one hundred thousand times, and we'll say uh, let capacity equals uh, push string dot capacity. Here we go, and then we will say if uh, if capacity is uh, not equal to capacity counter. So um, there we go. So it's going to check, you know, what what's it at? Uh, is it at zero? Is it at you know four or whatever? And uh, if uh, if it goes up, then uh, it's going to say, hey, it's not the same as capacity counter anymore. And then we're going to print it out. So uh, it's going to tell us every time it reallocates, and uh, is uh, is a higher number. So if it's uh, not the same, then we're going to uh, print out the capacity, and then uh, we're going to say. Uh, capacity counter equals capacity so you know if this uh, capacity becomes four and it's a different number it's going to say hey it's four and then it's going to make this four and then uh, so it, it'll only uh, it'll only print out when uh, when uh, it becomes uh, reallocated again when it's bigger and so uh, push string uh, so you know there's a uh, there's push uh, and that lets you push a, a, a character onto a string uh, there's also a uh, push stir, and that lets you push a stir onto a string. So we'll write, uh, I'm getting pushed into the string. We'll just uh, add this uh, 100,000 times and then see how many times it, uh, it ends up allocating. And you can see, you know, it allocates a whole bunch of times, so it's, uh, it's kind of a a waste of uh, resources if we're doing something uh, with a lot of busy code. You know, it goes up to the this number here, and this is not the the number of items; it's the number of items uh, before it can uh, before it has to uh, allocate again. So, uh, of course, what we can do is change uh, change that to uh, string with capacity, and then. Um, and then we can uh, let's see, do, 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 do. and we can run that again. So this time it's going to, um, you know, give us uh, all the all the space we need uh, from the from the beginning, and uh, you know it's not going to uh, do anything except uh, print this out uh, one time. So now we're just uh, allocating once, and uh, you know it's a, it's a I don't know how much faster it is, but it is uh, it's faster. So. Um, Let's see the next uh, the next uh, example. All right, so the uh, of course this is not telling us uh, what exactly or how many items are into there are inside there. So if you, uh, you know length, of course this is length in bytes. Um, um, actually, we'll make it charge that length. So that's the it's the actual. Uh, Number of items in there, and you can see, uh, let's see, push string dot charge not land count. So you can see, okay, the length is actually, uh, was it three point five million? Uh, so you know, what's uh, what's a good way to, let's say, you want to only uh, only allocate uh, that uh, you know three point five million. You don't want it to be. Uh, this length, you would like it to be uh, this. So there's a there's a method for that, and it's called uh, shrink to fit, and it's easy. All you do is uh, push string dot uh, shrink shrink to fit. So then if you uh, if you do that and print the capacity, then it's going to be you know three uh, three point five million. 
and uh, so now it's uh, you know the the number of items and the capacity is the same and that's uh, that's good as long as you know that you're not going to add any more because if we say push string and you just push one more one more character then uh, then it's going to uh, double so uh, if you uh, if you print this out so you can see it says okay we've got uh, uh, we need more space and uh, let's you know bring in 3.5 million more spaces into the VEC. So then you can, uh, you know, that's, uh, so shrink to fit is, uh, is best if you know that, uh, that you're not going to uh, use it anymore and you would like to, uh, you know, shrink it down to, uh, to uh, use uh, a little bit less memory. And then you can see, um, you know, we, we shrank it again. Uh, so we made it to 7 million, added one more item, and now you can see the capacity is uh, 3,500,001. Uh, so that is uh, capacity and uh, shrink to fit. Uh, the next uh, example is uh, is just going to be how uh, you know pop is uh, exactly the same uh, as in a vec. So uh, you know it gives a a character or a uh, an option of a character. So uh, let's say we have this uh, string from, and it says. Uh, T, what else is it? L, T, uh, C, Nerds. And this is not another language. I think this is right. There we go. Hmm? Like that. See if you can uh, guess what that is. And then we're going to uh, loop, and then uh, we're going to you know, pop everything off and, uh, and print it out. So uh, let pop result equals uh, my string. Dot pop. So we're going to get uh, an option of uh, char, and then we're going to just uh, match it. And then uh, if we get some, uh, we're going to say, okay, we're calling this variable a character, and we're going to print, print, not print line, and uh, print that out. And uh, otherwise, uh, we're going to break, because of course we need to break out of this loop. And uh, let's see what we get. this string so you can see you know pop starts at the end so if you write it uh, if you write it backwards then it's going to uh, make it uh, you know turn it the other way around this string is a little bit hard to read so that is uh, how pop works and uh, the final one we actually saw this once but it's uh, it's a cool method to uh, to remember so we're going to look at it once more and it's called uh, retain and retain uh, gives you a closure that um, so you don't have to call an iterator or anything. You can just say it's it's basically a filter for a uh, for a string. It's the same as filter. So you say okay, this is what you have to do to stay in the string. Uh, here's what you need to do. So you say string from and uh, I don't know uh, what did I write here? Age twenty, height one ninety four, weight. 80 looks like a, uh, a character so let's say uh, my string dot retain and it's going to you know um, uh, blow it open into uh, these into characters basically uh, so we'll say character and then we'll say character is uh, alphabetic so we're going to just keep the uh, keep the uh, the letters and then we can also say and also let's also let's uh, Let's keep uh, keep things that uh, that are spaces. So we would like to keep, you know, just this, uh, keep this, and uh, keep this. And so it has to uh, satisfy these two uh, conditions. And then uh, let's just uh, let's use debug this time to uh, to see what we have left. And so there it is, uh, my string. So we got age, height. And uh, and wait. So uh, that is uh, you know the retain method, and uh, so that is uh, another quick look at uh, strings. Uh, yeah, strings which are similar to vex uh, in many ways. So uh, keep that in mind. And um, whenever you learn vex, you're learning about strings as well.